Greetings, initiating, bold, bossy, Aries. My name is Eliane Nicole. I'm an astrologer and tarot card reader. And now I'm going to do the March 2021 tarot and um, astrology forecast for Aries. I'm actually focusing more on the tarot in these monthly videos now, but I will talk about some very broad strokes of planetary transits. I encourage you to follow me on Instagram at astrology.tarot.elianenicole because there I do astrological updates and the best is to call me directly for your own birth chart and transit um, reading. But in the meantime, in between time, definitely watch the videos here, especially for your sun and rising, or if you have a night chart for your moon and rising. So as we enter the month of March, Aries, you have the emperor. And so this is you at the, you know, in the first like three days of the month. And the emperor is actually an Aries card. It's a major arcana. And so the major arcana have to do with the big themes that are going on. Um, and the emperor often has to do with um, male energy. It, it is often looked at as the husband card. It can also be seen as um, a father, a landlord, a boss, a coach, emperor. It's any kind of leadership, male dominant energy. Um, and it can even be more general, like the patriarchy or the establishment or something like that. Um, anyway, this energy plays prominent at the beginning of the month for Aries. And um, you are covered by the Page of Wands. So uh, pages, they can be children. So this can have to do with a child who is starting something new. Um, for those who do not have children in their life, um, this could just be that you are beginning on a new path. And you are crossed by the Seven of Swords. So this has to do with um, sensitive information that you may be holding this, this month. And by that, sensitive information can be anything from you know, a secret to, uh, you know, I don't know, passwords that you don't want to lose. I mean, sensitive information can run the gamut. Um, so yeah. Um, followed by another seven immediately. So I feel like around, um, like the seventh through the 12th, there's going to be kind of a big change. Um, or a rapid change, not, you know, anyway. Um, the basis, you have the seven of wands reversed. So yeah, around again, the 10th to the 12th, it looks like you were going to be kind of like surrendering, yielding, submitting, somehow like letting go of resistance in a situation maybe where you have been feeling like you need to stand your ground or hold your own. And what's leaving is the Queen of Pentacles. So this is a woman being very generous. What could come into being, this is around the 13th to the 15th, around the Pisces new moon. It looks like you will be slowing down, halting, pausing, um, possibly canceling or postponing a trip. But for those who didn't have travel plans, it will just mean in general maybe taking some things off of your to-do list or just pausing, you know. And what will come into being around mid-month, around the 16th to the 18th Aries, um, there could be a big financial expenditure of some kind. Um, it could be that there's a feeling of lack or scarcity um, for someone, you or someone very near to you, um, this isn't something that is necessarily, um, like, you know, real. Uh, people can be abundant and still feel a lack of scarcity sometimes. It's a mental thing. Um, so 
uh, or, you know, sometimes a self-esteem or self-worth kind of thing. Um, fears or insecurities, the seven of cups reversed. So this is um, kind of maybe not knowing what's going to happen in the future or not being certain, not being able to make it out, not being able to quite visualize what it is that you want <coughs> yet. So just be patient with yourself. Um, this is um, around the 19th to the 21st. This could be coming up. And other C, the Three of Cups reverse. So you may have um, friends that miss you. Um, it could also be a friend that's upset with you. Um, the Three of Cups reverse can be either, but it's definitely something around friends. Maybe they miss you. Um, maybe you hurt their feelings. Maybe something like that. Maybe you flaked. I don't know. Positive feelings. The Two of Pentacles. So the Two of Pentacles, it's like you're um, weighing a decision towards the end of the month, but I think you feel very positive about it. And uh, this is around the 25th to the 27th, likely. Um, you may be making the decision that you've been weighing throughout the month. And so maybe you feel good that you're making it at the end of the month. And then the outcome is Five of Wands. So it looks like there's this, a conflict or a struggle involving three people, perhaps, uh, around the end of the month. Um, this is around the full moon of Libra, which is on March 28th. And so the Libra full moon for Aries, it does oppose you um, in the Zodiac. And so, you know, um, it will be in your house of others, relationships. Um, so there will probably bring illumination around a topic that may cause a little conflict or a struggle, but it's nothing that you can't, you know, get past. And um, again, this two of pinnacles towards the end of the month, it looks like you're feeling very positive about a financial or business uh, decision or situation that's going on. And um, yeah, what else can I say? Um, you know, again, it looks like, you know, the suit of pentacles is really important for you this month. Pentacles is money and things. Um, your only major arcana is the emperor. So that emperor energy is obviously really big for, um, for uh, March for you you will probably be navigating, dealing uh, like, you know, for men Aries, it might be you kind of owning your own authority and your own leadership qualities. For women Aries, it's probably a man that you're dealing with, but who, you know, uh, through dealing with him as a leader or as a patriarch or as this kind of dominating figure, you are learning about your own leadership qualities and, and your own inner authority during the month of March. And you also have a couple of cups, which is the realm of emotion. Um, you have one sword and that's this sensitive information that you're holding on to. Um, and that is something that is, you know, um, something that you're working through um, in the month of March. It's, it's the Seven of Swords is the only one that's in the position of, uh, it's only horizontal position. It's not reversed, it's not upright. So it has to do with what the Kabbalists call your tikkun or your karmic correction in March it has to do with this sensitive information that you're holding. Um, and, you know, it looks like, uh, you know, again, there's an opportunity to be starting on a new path in March. And it is your birthday season coming up. And so that's always a good time for a new start, too. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of the tarot overview. And I'm just going to leave it at that. Definitely follow me on Instagram at astrology.tarot.elianenicole and contact me directly if you would like to know about the planetary transits. And have a wonderful, wonderful March, Aries.